The Pope's warning that all Christians must take seriously. Pope Francis encouraged Christians to spread the fragrance of Christ in the world instead of the stench of sin. This call was addressed to an audience that included numerous newlywed couples, whose presence the pontiff warmly acknowledged in his initial greeting, emphasizing the importance of their participation in this moment of reflection and teaching. In the sixth catechesis of the cycle titled The Holy Spirit and the Bride, Pope Francis focused on the profound significance of the spiritual anointing of Christ, which took place during his baptism in the Jordan River. This event, the Pope explained, is not merely a historical fact, but a powerful manifestation of Christ's mission and the vocation that all Christians must assume with responsibility and fervor. With unmistakable clarity, Pope Francis stated, We know that, unfortunately, sometimes Christians do not spread the fragrance of Christ, but the stench of their own sin. Acknowledging this sad reality, the Pope insisted that this must not distract us from our commitment to fulfill, to the best of our abilities and each in their own environment, this sublime vocation of being the good fragrance of Christ in the world. This call is an invitation to reflection, but above all, to concrete action in daily life. The fragrance to which the Pope refers comes directly from the fruits of the Holy Spirit, those gifts that St. Paul describes in his letter to the Galatians, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Francis emphasized that these fruits are not just abstract ideals but living realities that must be manifested in the life of every believer. These gifts, he explained, are the notes that compose the fragrance of Christ, a fragrance we are called to spread in every environment where we live and work. The Pope also reflected on the impact of people who, by the grace of the Spirit, transmit these gifts. He said, a person with love, joyful, who creates peace, a magnanimous person, a benevolent person, a good person. It is beautiful to encounter a good person, a faithful person, a gentle person who is not envious. Someone will feel a bit of this fragrance when we are among these people. With these words, Pope Francis reminded us that the true mission of a Christian is to be a living witness to these gifts, not only through words but primarily through actions that reflect God's goodness and mercy. Moreover, the Pope detailed the significance of Jesus' baptism, an event that marks the beginning of his public ministry and holds deep theological relevance. The pontiff explained that in Jesus' baptism the entire Trinity gathered at that moment on the banks of the Jordan, emphasizing the importance of this event in Revelation and in the history of salvation. This crucial moment is later confirmed in Jesus' preaching in the synagogue of Nazareth, when he proclaims, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Francis explained that at the Jordan, Jesus was anointed in a special way, not with physical oil as was traditionally done with kings, prophets, and priests of the Old Testament, but with the Holy Spirit, the spiritual oil. In Christ's case, instead of physical oil, it is the spiritual oil that is the Holy Spirit, the Pope affirmed. This act of anointing is what grants Jesus the titles of Messiah in Hebrew and Christ in Greek, both meaning anointed. Concluding his catechesis, Pope Francis highlighted the intrinsic connection between Christ and the Church, explaining that Christ is the head, our high priest, the Holy Spirit is the fragrant oil, and the Church is the body of Christ in which it is spread. With these words, the Pope underscored the Church's mission to be the bearer of this divine fragrance in the world, a task that requires the commitment and dedication of all its members. This profound message was shared by Pope Francis during last Wednesday's audience, leaving a significant impression on all those present and those who have listened to it. The invitation to be the good fragrance of Christ in the world resonates as an urgent call to all Christians, reminding us that our lives must reflect, in every action, the fruits of the Holy Spirit.